Hello and welcome again as we consider yet another multiple choice question for IB Chemistry. What is the pH of the solution formed when 10 cm cube of hydrochloric acid with pH 1.0 is added to 990 cm cube of water? And you've got these four choices. Now, although this question is just two lines, there are several layers that you must peel back before you can arrive at the answer and it involves a knowledge of the pH scale, a knowledge of how you convert pH to concentration, concentration to pH and you also need to understand about making dilutions and calculating concentrations. So let's begin with the first step. First we are told that the pH of a solution that is 10 cm cube in volume is 1.0. So first up, we can use this formula, 10 to the negative pH, which would be equal to 10 to the negative 1, and that would give 0 0.1. That would be the concentration using the pH. So to get the concentration of hydrogen ions, we can say 10 to the negative pH, and if we have, of course, a completely dissociated strong acid like HCl, then we can say we have 0 0.1 moles per dm cube as its concentration. So now that we know its concentration in moles per dm cube, we've also got here its volume. But that volume is given in cm cube. Let's convert that cm cube into dm cube. And to do that, you divide this by 1,000. That's another piece of knowledge you've got to have, how you convert from cm cube to liters or dm cube. You divide by 1,000. And in your head, because you have no calculator in the multiple choice exam, you must shift your decimal point one, two, three places, and you get 0 0.10 of a dm cube as the volume. The concentration's already been determined. It's 0 0.1 moles per dm cube. So what you have now is a C1 and a V1. And using another relationship that you should be familiar with, C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. Then you can solve for the unknown on this side, which is going to be first the concentration of H plus after the dilution, and then we'll find the pH based on that. So the total volume when you add 990 cm cube to 10 cm cube is going to be 1000 cm cube, which is 1 dm cube. So you can take this V off and make this 1.0. And finally, we've got to determine the unknown here. And if C1V1 is equal to C2V2, then we can solve for C2. And because this is a 1, we can do the mental math. And again, you need to do this mentally because there's no calculator in the multiple choice exam. So one decimal point and one two decimal points shifted back here. This has got to go shifted back three spaces to give you 0 0.001 moles per dm cube. That would be the concentration of H plus when the solution is diluted. What you have here is not a pH though, it's a concentration. And how do you go from this concentration to a pH? And again, you must do that mentally. So pH is equal to the negative log to the base 10 of the molar hydrogen ion concentration, which is 0 0.001. And in your head, you should know that that is 3. And it would help you if you memorized a few of these, but a knowledge of the pH scale would allow you to quickly recall this. If you have a 1 mole per dm cube solution, then Plugging it in here would give you a pH, and if you have a 0.1 moles per dm cube solution, plugging it in here 
would give you a pH of 1. And if you have a 0 0.01, that would give you a pH of 2. This, of course, you can do with your calculator. And if you have a 0 0.001, then that would give you a pH of 3. But you don't have a calculator, of course, in the actual exam. So you need to have it in your head that the negative log to the base 10 of 1 is 0. 0.1 is 1. 0 0.01, 2. 0 0.001, 3. Three. And so the pH scale goes on like this, where if an acid, a completely dissociated acid, is a 1 mole per dm cube solution, its pH is 0. If it's 0 0.1, its pH is 1. If it's 0 0.01, its pH is 2. And if it's 0 0.001, then its pH is 3. And these layers that you must peel back take you to the answer of D. And of course, it highlights for you why it's important to practice with these questions because they call for a bringing together of several different understandings in the IB chemistry syllabus. And the IB stresses that students cannot be adequately prepared for the examination unless you spend some time working through the past examination questions.